Hi friends, welcome to the Plain Fun RC channel. I'm your host, Saul, and we are continuing our build of the Burt Rutan Beechcraft Starship by AMTN. We are gonna be starting the build of the wing, and you can see we've got our main wing parts here. We're about ready to pop them out of the die to go ahead and start the assembly. Here's a general overview of what we're gonna be doing. And you'll see when we start building the first part of the wing, it does not use that template that we used for the canard. But when we get to the middle part of the wing and the outer part of the wing, it does use the, uh, the template provided to help with assembly. So let's go ahead and get started and more to come. All right, friends, as we continue our update, you can see we've started building the wing. Let's talk a little bit about what you see here, but let's use the diagram for a second, and we'll come back to the pieces that are assembled. So we're looking here at the actual a diagram of the wing, and what we're starting off with is WA1, and that's this long rib right in here. Then these, these lines here, where you see WA, WA7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and all the way to 13, those are actually the spars, believe it or not. So you're attaching your initial ribs to WA1, uh, and uh, or the spars, I mean, and then you're adding on the ribs. And let me tell you, show you what, we, what I mean here. So here is the very first rib on the bottom. That's WA1, as you can see. We're taking the spars, and you're, the first thing you're doing is you're attaching these spars to the actual um, uh, rib it, uh, itself, as you can see. Make sure they're at 90 degrees, that's absolutely critical. And you're going right down the line and attaching the spars. Then you're gonna take your second rib right here, which is WA2, and you're just gonna slide it into the slots. And then go ahead and put in WA3 and slide it into the slots. Now, once they're in the sl their slots, then you can go back and you can glue them using uh, Thin CA. Now I will tell you, I've been using Thin CA, but I found I've also had to use an accelerator. Uh, this type of wood that they're using here, it is a plywood. Uh, it, it's not at allowing this, the Thin CA to adhere all that well. So I found I had to go back over to the joints and use some medium CA as well, and then hit it with a kicker. Anyway, uh, you can see it's coming together really nice. Uh, and what we're gonna do in a second is we're actually gonna go ahead and lay it flat. Now this is very important. When you're building the wing, be careful because here we're building the right wing. If I was building the left wing, I would have taken WA1 and laid it this way, okay, with the front being over here and then put in the spar. So be very, very careful. You don't want to accidentally build two right halves. All right, let's continue our build. More to come. All right, friends, as we continue our update here, you can see the right mid section is done, at least for right now, the, the initial construction. Uh, one very, very important tip I want to pass along to you when you assemble this. Uh, everything went together great. Everything interlocked fine. But the one mistake I made is when I went to attach the leading edge, I took the, the structure and I stood it up like this to attach it to the leading edge because you know it seems to make the most sense um and i didn't realize that you really need to take it and attach it so that the tabs that you see here on the uh, back of the each rib and and of course the the tabs you see all the way up on the front there as well they need to be resting on the table and because i noticed this if you look very carefully watch the outer portion here as i push down Oops, sorry. <laughs> it's off just a tiny bit. And that may not seem like much, but you really want to make sure it's nice and level because they have built in a washout in the actual wing uh, and to each section of the wing as well. So that I'll be able to fix that very small amount uh, of twists that occurred when I put the leading edge on. I'll just be able to fix that one as I put the sheeting on. But just a friendly tip. Outside of that, you can see it looks absolutely fantastic. Went together really well. No problems whatsoever. Just make sure that when you glue everything, don't just put glue on one side. Put it on all four sides. You want a good, strong bond. Because remember, these are the spars. Okay, these are the spars right here. We want, And you want to keep those nice 
and strong at each um, interlocking space, plus the area here is where the landing gear, retractable landing gear, is, landing gear is gonna be, so we know there's gonna be a lot of force generated on this section when the airplane takes off and lands. Now, let me show you something real quick. As I mentioned at the beginning, uh, and I didn't get a chance to show you, you wanna make sure that all the ribs or spars, excuse me, are all at 90 degrees. And we're starting the left side now. You can see here's W1 rib, and these are all the spars. So me getting them to be 90 degrees initially is the most important thing. And that's what we've done here because once they are 90 degrees, inserting the remaining ribs, as you can see here, are, is, is very easy to do. Very easy to do. And then one final tip, make sure that the slots that you see here and here and here, all the slots, make sure they're clear of any debris uh, that may remain sometimes when they did the routing or the laser cutting or whatever they used or the CNC machine, there may be little pieces left in there. And you want to make sure that they are removed because you want these ribs sitting as flush as possible at each junction. And if you look very carefully here, you can see at the interlocking how they sit for the most part, the spars sit level with each of the ribs. And that's important. All right, let's go ahead. Let's continue building our left wing and more to come. All right, friends, as we continue our update, you can see the left side is done. All we have to do is put our leading edge on, and then we'll move on to the mid sections of the wing. And she just looks great. Came out really, really well. Very happy with it. Thought I'd take a moment and just bring both halves together. Let you see what that looks like. And it really gives you a real perspective on just on the size of this airplane. Uh, and and, and uh, it's a good sized plane. Look how amazing that looks. Just fantastic, really fantastic. All right, friends, more to come. All right, friends, you can see our leading edge is in place and it went in without any problem whatsoever. A couple of helpful tips I wanna pass along to you. The first and foremost is make sure the structure is weighted down. So that way the tabs at the trailing edge of the ribs, you can see them there, 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 and there. And the tabs on the leading edge, and you can see a couple of them there, 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 and so on down the line. Make sure they are sitting perfectly flush on the table for two reasons. First of all, you, when you go, uh, before you attach the leading edge, you want to sand the actual leading edges of the ribs at an angle. And you, if you look down at this particular rib right here, uh, let's see, there it is. You can see how we've sanded it at an angle, and that's important, so keep that in mind. Also, when you go to, to attach the actual leading edge piece, it's important your structure is perfectly flat as evidenced by the tabs being in place, holding the structure down, and that's very important. As mentioned just a second ago, on the right side, I wound up standing it up on the leading edge and to glue the, uh, standing up on the leading edge piece to glue the leading edge of the ribs in place, and that caused a bit of a twist, a slight twist, but I didn't want that to happen on the left side. All right, our inboard sections are done. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the midsection of, uh, sections of the wing and more to come.